welcome back to my channel. Okay, I did it again. I did it again. I went to Home Bargains. Not gonna lie, this was probably the most successful shopping haul I've had in a wee while. It was so successful. Home Bargains seemed to really replenish their aisles like quite quickly. In total, I spent 26 pounds and I got quite a lot. So I think it's quite a good budget if you ask me. So today's video is a little bit exciting because it's actually in collab with my wonderful wonderful YouTube friend Gemma aka Gems Blog Story and she is such an angel. She is an angel on this channel, an angel in this community and you guys would love her channel. Her channel is very much like mine to be honest. She does vlogs, she does lots of hauls of homeware and fashion. She also does other little bits of videos. Me and Gemma decided to go down to Home Bargains, our local Home Bargains. I'm so excited to see what Gemma gets. I think she'll be impressed with what I got. I'm not gonna lie. I think she will love the stuff I got. She probably will get stuff similar because I think we're quite similar people. So after this video, make sure you go and check out Gemma's channel. I've left all the details below. So without further ado, grab, where's the handle? There it is. Grab your cup of teas. Let's get to it. One of the first things I picked up was, and I was so excited to see this. I didn't know they had it in store, but they did. They have an entire range of star sign things. This gorgeous, gorgeous diary. And well, it's actually just the notepad, but it's a Taurus notepad. As you can see, my star sign is a Taurus. I am a May baby and I just absolutely love it. It's white faux leather. It has silver inscribing all over it. It says Taurus with the star sign here and it's just unreal. And at the bottom it has three words that describe your character the most and I feel like mine are really true. Mine are really to the point and true. It says reliable, positive and ambitious. I thought this was like a really good notepad to have. It would actually make me want to write in it because don't know about you but I always buy notepads and I forget to write in them. Uh, hello, I've just seen the middle. It has like the solar system inside. I didn't even know that. That is so, so cute. And then it's just normal A5 with lines in. This was only £1.49. Very, very cheap. Also fully recyclable. So I also picked up in the Valentine section. The Valentine section was really, really big by the way. They have so much stuff in. I didn't get too much because personally I don't celebrate Valentine's like majorly i i think like i would rather spend my money on other things and me and the boy are generally quite like romantic we always spend time together anyway but i did pick up this and it was in the valentine section it's a gorgeous tin i love to bake baking is my thing cooking not so much but baking is my thing and i thought i could like bake something really nice and put it in here and then surprise him on valentine's or around valentine's this would look good all year round though it's got hearts on and they're just cute it has like pastel pinks and red hearts on it's quite a deep tin so you could fit a lot in there and also i think stuff like this would be really good as storage for stationary stuff. Can't get the lid back on. Go on. I loved this. Guess what? This was only £1.49 as well. So under £1.50 and it's actually a really nice tin. I didn't want to go too crazy in the Easter section because let's not lie, it's not Easter yet. <laughs> You know, Christmas has just gone. It's coming up to Valentine's. Let's not get too cray cray with the whole Easter thing. But I did see this and I flipping loved it. It's a sweetie jar with like a white ceramic bunny lid. And I think it was so cute. It would just look really nice on your side. Maybe with some mini chocolates in or some potpourri. I mean, could you put potpourri in there? Might block the smell having the lid on. But I just thought it was like a really nice little thing. It definitely looks like it would come from somewhere more upmarket than somewhere as affordable as home bargains in my opinion. I really like how the jar is patterned with these rims. It just looks really cute. This was one pound. This was only a pound. That was probably the most shocking item in the whole haul for its price. If you want like cute little Easter homey things, Home Bargains is your place. I will say it has a lot more Easter things that are aimed at young children. So if you're a mum or if you're a dad, or you have children in your family and you want to celebrate with them, you are in luck. So while I was browsing around Home Bargains, I noticed they had a lot of things that were initialed. So it had lots of things with S's on and D's, like basically the alphabet. So you could get like diaries, makeup bags, mugs, all sorts with your initial on, and I loved them. I thought they looked so, so nice. I've definitely seen similar in places like John Lewis. So if you want that kind of thing, definitely, definitely go and grab some or have a look at least in Home Bargains. I originally put a makeup bag 
in my shopping basket with the letter S on, but I put it back because I saw this. This is the Taurus star sign makeup bag, and I just thought, do you know what? I haven't got anything like this. This would be really good to travel in or to even put my tarot cards in. I know it's really weird, but I like tarot cards. Just to put something in, I thought these are really nice. It's faux leather again. It was £3.50, and I really kind of liked it. I like the silver effect. It's a little bit different. While browsing the cleaning aisle, obviously I had to go down there, I did see something that I've never actually seen before. I haven't lived on my own for too long long so I don't know if it actually works but I found some of this bright washing machine cleaner so apparently this completely washes your washing machine it ooh, it effectively removes lime scale dirt and unpleasant smells from your washing machine I have noticed that my washing machine smells a bit damp at the moment just a bit not all there so I wanted something to like freshen it up basically. If anyone has used something similar to this, please let me know in the comments below how it goes because I'll probably wait for recommendations before I try it out myself. But the next item is possibly the fave item of the whole haul. I couldn't believe this when I saw it, but if you watched my video a few weeks ago, I think it was my home bargains, it might have been my Poundland haul, but I bought myself some Astonish fabric conditioner and it was in like the average Astonish flavour, but I saw this today and oh my gosh, I literally ran to it. It looks so nice. It is lavender and yang yang flavor. I love that word. Life has changed since I found the Astonish non-bio liquids. They smell absolutely superb. They're kind on the planet, but I've never seen this scent before. I am saying scent now. I've never seen this scent before and I'm so excited. I haven't even smelt it yet, but I know I'm gonna love it. Oh my, wow. I mean, it's quite strong, not gonna lie, but it smells so summery. I also picked up, as always, some Zaflora. This is the bouquet version. This is probably my favorite right now. It smells so nice. It actually makes your whole house smell so, so nice for hours after you've used it. I actually learned a little trick from Mrs. Hinch and she basically pours a capful in her toilet brush cleaner little bowl thing. That is a game changer. That's such a game changer and you know your toilet brush is always going to be nice and clean. So I have been using this flavour quite, sorry, this scent quite a lot around the house. So I picked up another one. It's only 99p why not? I also got myself some Dettol Power and Pure kitchen spray. I used to use Dettol wipes quite a lot just for convenience but then I remembered probably not great on the environment to use wipes. At least with this you can refill it and also you can, I can recycle this whereas wipes kind of go in the bin and I don't like putting much in the bin. I like to recycle everything so I got myself some of this and obviously some reusable cloths that I will spray down the sides with this was $1.99, I think. Poundland probably does this for £1, but it's quite a big bottle. It's actually like the extra large bottle, so this will last me a long, long time, and definitely longer than wipes will last, so. If you watch my last Home Bargains haul, you will know I bought myself some of those toilet tabs, where you basically put them in your toilet bowl and they just refreshen the toilet and keep it clean and from bacteria. And they're really good, they are really good, but they're from the brand called Blue. And I managed to find this toilet cleaner from Blue and it's just bleach just for your toilet. So I thought I would give it a go. This was actually only 90p and it's definitely something that I remember just to use on the toilet because it just says toilet cleaner. Whereas with other bleaches around my house, I tend to move them from room to room and I just know this will sit behind my toilet. No one will see it and I will just give my toilet a spray when the tabs have run out. Again, I can recycle this bottle, which is why I got it. It was only 90p not bad. Okay, so this I was really impressed with. This is some antibacterial hand wash for your bathroom or for your kitchen, wherever, and it's tea tree and aloe vera scent. This is quite a large bottle and it was only 67p. This was actually sitting next to the Carex stuff and the Carex stuff was like one pound plus. So I thought I could make a saving, buy this and just pour it into my refillable Carex things because it's a lot cheaper. It probably does the exact same thing. It smells nice. I know that because anything aloe vera does. Okay, I'm not sure how much cheaper these are. I don't know if Boots do a similar deal, but I found these charcoal peel off face masks and there were three for two pounds i don't know if that's really good or if i just smugged myself off a little bit there let me know in the comments but i got these black charcoal face masks and they are the peel
peel off ones which I really like because they're so satisfying. I will be using one of these tonight. But they were three for two pounds. They also had loads and loads of different versions. They had like the grapefruit one. But they had loads of ones but I know I like to have charcoal face masks so I just got three of those for two pounds. Okay, I'm not gonna lie I was a little bit blown away by the next item. This is a huge... I don't even know if the camera's gonna do it justice, but it's a huge Radox. We all know here that I love a Radox bath. I love a Radox bath. They make so many bubbles, it smells nice, it makes your skin smell lovely, and it doesn't irritate my skin. So I always tend to go for Radox. The purple Radox is defo my favorite, but they didn't have it in this size. So this size was £1.79, which basically means I got two for less than two pounds. Normally you find these Radox tubes for one pound each in most shops but double the size you're paying less for two pounds so I thought that was really good this is the stress relief one they had this one and the blue one I'm not keen on the blue one not gonna lie it kind of smells too manly for me but the stress relief one it's really nice especially when you've had a stressful day <laughs> let's not lie I also had a browse around the beauty section and I'm not gonna lie like there's so many things I'm really intrigued about but I'm really scared to try because I don't know what home bargains type of beauty things are like the makeup stuff or the remove makeup remover things I'm not too sure what they're like if any of you have tried them let me know I would love to know because I am intrigued but I just avoided the makeup section but I did get myself a tube of cotton soft cotton pads I literally live off these they're so nice to put some cleanser on them and just wipe your face with every night that's what I tend to do so I bought some of these these were 67p I got myself two packs of hair bands these are just black normal elasticated ones these are fabulous when you need your hair just to be up in a bun and stay in one place and these were a pack of 14 so they're quite strong though so they'll last a while 67p for those and these are the kind of cord ones that are really cool, like phone, old, old fashioned phone cords. And these were also 67p and they're three clear ones and three black. You know me, I can't enter one of these stores without getting toothpaste. And that's what I did this time. I got myself some Oral-B toothpaste. Oral-B white toothpaste is honestly my fave. It keeps my teeth so white and clean. I will say it's not a big tube and I did pay £1.97 for it. So I know I could have got a much better bargain in either another toothpaste brand or another store like Poundland. But I just really wanted this. And it was £1.97. It's definitely still cheaper than Boots but not the cheapest I know. I'm currently using another toothpaste which I do not recommend. I can't even remember the name of it. I think it's beginning with P or C. It's not Colgate but it's something else I don't recommend. It never leaves my teeth feeling clean enough and I just don't recommend it. I think I got it in one of my previous hauls anyway. But this one is the Oral-B White Toothpaste and I love it. I highly recommend it. You could probably get it cheaper in Poundland but I got it in home bargains today. If you're Irish or you have Irish heritage, prepare to be wowed. <laughs> I got myself some Tato's. These are Tato crisps. I do actually have quite a lot of Irish heritage in my family, in my genes. So I always tend to love things like these because it makes you feel like you're being a bit Irish when you have them. But I got this huge multi-pack of crisps. They have the obvious flavours, cheese and onion, salt and vinegar, spring onion, wow, I didn't know they had like two types of onion, and prawn cocktail, which are probably my faves, don't judge, and I got a huge multi-pack, these were only a pound because they were currently on special offer in Home Bargains, they had so many different types of crisps, they had Space Raiders, disco, disco slide things, yeah they could get in my basket. Last time I was in Home Bargains, you may have seen, I purchased a big tube of rice cakes and I got the salt and vinegar flavor. This time I got the lightly salted flavor. They're basically the plain flavor. They are actually a lot smaller than the salt and vinegar ones, but this was the only size they did. I suppose it will like reduce my snacking. I did get my cats a little treat. They love their whiskers treats. Oh my gosh, these whiskers temptations, they love them, in fact, watch this oh hello and I also got myself some green bin liners their bin liners are actually really good they have lots of scented bin liners like lavender scent rose scent I haven't ever tried them before what are they like I don't know if they're going to be like too potent of a smell when you're putting like 
bin type stuff in your bin anyway. But these are green bin liners for your food bin. I obviously put all of my food in a certain type of bin and then someone takes it away and turns it into compost. So we're doing our bit for the planet in this house. Okay, so honestly, I feel like that was my best home bargains haul yet. I've only been a couple of times, I know, but to me, I found amazing things for really good prices and I was really impressed. I definitely recommend you guys checking out your local home bargains if there is a local one. I had a look online and there doesn't seem to be many home bargains in the north. They're all kind of in the south. So I hope you enjoyed anyway. Remember to be giving my videos a thumbs up because it really helps my channel out. Don't forget to subscribe and join my beautiful YouTube family down below. Thank you very much for watching. I love you very much. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.